a long life, you know. He had a good one. Yeah, yeah. Good and one. and we've got you know it's all about the fuzzy peaches. It, you know, it's all about the Red Bull. Hey, right. to long life. To long life. Salute. Salute. You'll always live in our hearts. <sighs> you ready to do this? Yeah, let's 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 get it over with. All right, man. Let's go. Thank you for all the wonderful years of childhood memories you've bestowed upon us. And we will always remember you for the fantastic person you were. Yeah, it was definitely some good times. I, I like that show a lot. You know, I think I think that show was designed to, you know, definitely keep kids happy in our uh, gen and uh, make our Saturdays start off fun. I'll miss him. We're gonna miss you, bud. Introduction. Uh, rest in peace, Paul Rubens. We will miss you so much, young man. And bonus points if you can find uh, Pee Wee in this episode. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, we had a really great time on the last episode, too. What did you think about that last episode? Uh, man, I, you know, it's all about that sweet car line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all about that sweet car line. That, those, those snow cones were. He best. <laughs> 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 you know, the toy store was awesome. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. Oh, Back City and, Toys. And you have since been there like five times. I have little kids, and so I would like to share those experiences of my generation yeah. and pass it on to another generation because that was the stuff back then, as you all know, in the 80s and 90s. That's when everything was the bomb. Yeah. And, and, and they had made the best yeah. stuff back then. The best best quality. Best everything. That's what everything was. The <laughs> <laughs> Being that it's Halloween, I, I figured we'd do some Halloween trivia. So, what what 1970s movie, horror movie, has the line, The Power of Christ Compels You? If you know the answer, toss it in the comments. What, what's your favorite Halloween candy when it gets to the trick-or-treat? I have to go with 
sweet tarts, man. I'm all about sweet tarts. OG sweet tarts. Yes, man. It's been and bonus points if the sweet tarts are the little the little skeleton uh, figures. You know? <laughs> nice. Did you hear the uh, the story about that one road in Cedar Park called uh, Harryman's Road? Uh, in Cedar Park. By no. Park no. Well, rumor has it there's something out there at night in the nighttime. So you don't ever want to drive a vehicle at night by yourself because apparently all these sightings occur when there's one person driving a vehicle by themselves and they don't they, they can't explain it. They they call it Harryman's Road because apparently there's some kind of Sasquatch hairy monster type thing down Harriman's Road at night. Oh my. Might have to go try to find it, you know? So we are headed about 30 miles east of Austin to Bastrop, Texas to where we are going to go find the original shooting film location of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre from the 1970s. They've renovated this historic monument into a tourist attraction. Uh, they even have barbecue, which I know Trump is excited about that. Speaking of drinking, yeah. what do you think? You thirsty? Yeah, let's do that, man. All for the smell of it. All Are we down? It. I'm down. Let's get it down. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. All for the smell of it. Oh, man, it is so good. It, it is. is. <laughs> the way it smells up the whole car, it's just like deliciousness That's in it. a can. That's it. Yeah, I mean, they got all kinds of flavors like you were talking about. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, fuzzy peaches. <laughs> this building has been a catch-all of different things within the community, and to my knowledge, it was uh, first erected in, like, the 1940s. And it's been a bar, it's been a general store, been a whole bunch of different things. You used to even be able to go out back and uh, rope cattle. So it was used in the movie until the owners purchased it in 2013. They restored it and we opened in October of 2016. So we're going on seven years this year. Well, the, the owners, uh, Roy and Lisa Rose, they're some of the biggest collectors in the world, particularly Roy. And uh, this was one of his favorite movies. And so it was his passion and they turned it into a pretty awesome business. So we have uh, four cabins in the back. Uh, cabins one and two have a queen size bed and a full size bed. Cabins three and four have a king size bed and a pull out couch and each come furnished with a Blu-ray player, TV, and uh, just have a good time, hang out. It's the country so it's nice and quiet, you'll get some good sleep, maybe hear a chainsaw or two. What's your favorite scary movie? <laughs> Scream, of course. <laughs> it really is, yeah. <laughs> it really is. Good old Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> Hello, yeah, it's, it's, hard, it's hard not to say one of those, but yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Classic. Yeah. Classic. Uh, Halloween, because you can't kill the boogeyman. Mm. Trivia question for you: What town is Michael Myers from? There you go. Nailed it. Good job. Good job. Good job. Well, I was obsessed with Michael Myers as a 10 to 11 year old, and then so that is. You know why he's number one up here, and then I love, uh, uh, you know, Evil Dead, the Evil Dead series down here, and you know Jason's pretty cool too. Yeah, little so. Ash And then a lot of times too, we try to have events here about once a month or so. So the last event we had was Danielle Harris, who's been in Halloween four and five. She was in Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead, Last Boy Scout, Boy Meets World. So a lot of different things. And then afterwards, a lot of times people just hang out back. We've got vendors out there, bands playing. If not bands, we got house music. So cornhole setup. It's a good time. Well, some would say that our barbecue is to die for. I just say it's you know, yesterday's customer. That's today's menu. But uh, <laughs> what's your favorite menu item at Jelly Beans? The brisket. Yeah. Brisket's amazing. Oh, fat side up. <laughs> Fat side up, poke the holes first. Fat side up, let that fat just drizzle into it. That's what you gotta do. Well, yeah, I mean, honestly, it's just because I moved out in Rosanke, which is farther down that way, and this was like one of the closest places. You're the first female pit mister that we've met. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I take pride in that, I really do. I think yeah. us girls do it better because you know we're cleaner. We actually like we're more perfectionists, I feel like. <laughs> yeah, we do fat side up. Um, I mean I just think our brisket's really good. We always make sure we have the smoke ring, it's very tender. We always we don't serve anything inferior, so if it's not good that day, then we don't really serve it. So the brisket I'm cooking right now will be served Tuesday because we're off on Mondays, so we always cook the day before. On our busy days, we cook about, we want to have about six to nine. If we have events, that's a whole different ball game. We're easily doing 12. We home make our potato salad. Our beans are made the night before. Everything's honestly pretty much homemade. Our coleslaw is homemade, so. Nothing from the can or box. <laughs> I mean, we, we, we have kidney beans in our chili, so it just makes it taste better. They call our chili like Yankee chili because we use uh, tomato soup instead, you know, but I guess that's what makes it a little different. It tastes good. What's your favorite scary movie? Definitely all the Halloweens. Freddy Krueger or Jason Voorhees? Freddy Krueger. Why? I think he's more scarier. You know, he comes in your nightmares. So. What'd you get there? A little brisket? We got the brisket combo. Sausage and brisket. Beautiful. Where, where'd you guys come from? From the area? We came from the Houston area. Spring. Okay. What's your favorite scary movie? Favorite scary movie? Ultimate scary? Honestly? I like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Be quite How honest with you. How about you? The Hills Have Eyes. Ooh, that's another good Remake movie. or classic? Remake. I like the remake too. Yeah. Yeah, that was that's really well done. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, good stuff. Yes, yeah, you guys got a strange scary movie? I don't know. I kind of just like all of them. Like, I watched Scream. See, that was a nightmare before I watched, Christmas. I, know. <laughs> I watched Scream. I like, Scream? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Bob, what about you? Scream. Scream? No. Your... Really? I always watch it. <laughs> uh, first time here at the gas station? Hers. Oh. I've been here before. I've been, but I've never, this is my first time eating. So, but I've been there to check out the. Uh, cool stuff in there. So, yeah, yeah, right on. Same. Uh, what's your favorite scary movie? I like uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, the original. That yeah. was my answer. Yeah, I grew up watching Nightmare on Elm Street, so okay. that's my favorite. Okay, well that answers my next question. I was going to say, <laughs> Freddy Krueger or Jason Voorhees? Uh, definitely Freddy. Yeah, Freddy. Why? With, especially with the knife, the, the syringes or the knives can just slice uh, Jason up. Hi guys. We're jumping in. Some fatty, some lean, some jalapeno sausage, and some non jalapeno. And then we got some beans. Let go into this delicious looking brisket. Just take a look at that it's fatty deliciousness. Let's go ahead and give it a pull test. Oh, that came apart perfectly. Beautiful crust, nice smoke ring, very moist. Let's go in for the bite. got to be kidding me. Let's go in with that uh, lean and try the same thing. Equally moist. Amazing flavor on that brisket. And yeah, let's go in for the sausage now. This is their jalapeno sausage. Nice glistening delicious looking sausage here. You can kind of see jalapenos through it if you look very closely. Yeah. 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 Oh man, look at the inside of that sausage, baby. Let's get it, five, four, three, two, one. You guys, that jalapeno sausage has got to go though. All right. We're at the gas station, and I've decided to try the chili. They said it's meat and bean. I don't see a lot of bean. Now oh, there's one. Some bean, looks like it's got bell pepper and onion in here. Let's give her a try. It's a good flavor. Not too spicy. Pretty much anybody could eat it, probably. You get a little crunch from the bell peppers and the onions. They're not fully cooked down where they're just kind of mushy. These actually still have a crunch to them. So a little surprise there that isn't typically in a chili. They'll cook it so much that the, it's all mushy. So no surprise. It's good. 
Let's try a little bit of ghost pepper sauce in it and see what happens. A little? A little. He's <laughs> crazy when it goes spicy. Mmm, a little bit of chopped brisket sandwich here. That is my go-to at these barbecue joints. A little additional flavor there. Now, they mentioned something about, you know, you are a part of the menu here, so we'll see how delicious this um, <laughs> chopped brisket sandwich can be. I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, no, it's got a really good smoky flavor to it. Um, it's it's actually one of the better better chopped briskets I've had on our real barbecue adventures. Um, it's really good. It's nice and saucy. They put just enough sauce on there, not overly wet. Um, I guess it's very smoky, very nice and chopped up, very easy to eat. No toothpicks needed at this gas station, at the gas station where they slaughter barbecue here, people. Um, so make sure you come by and check this out. The name of this game is Cornhole, so get your cornhole today. Yeah! What's your favorite Scooby movie? Uh, it's all together. Mine is The Exorcist. Why? I don't know. It just scared the hell out of me as a kid to my core. Okay. I would say Signs. Signs? Okay. Yeah. Okay. The, the birthday video. Yeah, yeah. where you yeah. kind of... You don't realize you're already looking at it until it moves, and you're like, that was it the whole time. That's the thing about this place and the cult conventions that we run. Your family, once you come. I'm not talking about food family, I'm talking about real family. We take care of you, and they take care of us. It's a great place to come visit, man. If you have a chance, you come see us. All right, come visit us here at the gas station. We're located off of Highway 304 in Bastrop, Texas. Come check us out, it's a good time. This one, by far, has to be, what do you think, one of the funnest ones? <laughs> oh, well, oh. what is it? <laughs> and speaking of Halloween Spooktacular, we are going to be hosting the uh, second Boobie Cook. Boobie, it has to have Boobie Q, baby. Now you know it. Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been the Real Broby Q Adventures Halloween Spectacular Episode 3. Have yourself a spooktacular Halloween. Happy Halloween. Real Barbecue Adventure! Well, I hang my head on a New York City rooftop body, letting go of the skinny. We're gonna dance. One, two, three. Real Barbecue Adventure. <laughs> 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 So we'll go, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay. Okay. Ah! Ah! <laughs> 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 wait, 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 wait. What's I can't stop laughing.